Have you ever had the idea that you might be becoming a criminal from your use of marijuana? No, never. <laughs> never. Never. This has always been a criminal. In fact, I think it, it positively discriminates me from being a criminal. Oh, here in Holland, there is no morale on the use of cannabis. It's, it's just tolerated, period. Yeah, exactly. the, do you think marijuana is self-destructive? Uh, marijuana isn't self-destructive. It's not self-destructive? No, no. In fact, it is um, uh, very constructive. Can you think of any reason why it should be illegal? <laughs> why it should be illegal? Yes. Um... Well, I don't think it should be illegal. Why not? Because, um, well, for instance, if you compare the drug with uh, alcohol, yeah, it's uh, is um, less destructive. Mm -hmm. Can you can you like uh, use marijuana, let's say in the evening, and the next morning wake up and go to work without any problem? Yes, I smoke it before I go to work. Sometimes during lunch breaks at work. Mm -hmm. And it, you don't think it hurts your performance at all? No, I think think it's bad for you than most other things people mm -hmm. take. But you shouldn't smoke it during work, because then you get real heavy high effect. And then I might make mistakes, and those mistakes might turn out dangerous for my patients. Mm -hmm. so. Do you, you feel you can regulate your own use of it yourself yeah. based upon your own experience? Yeah. 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 It's the most harmless drug there is, really. The people know that out here. The Kiev is, is the way the, the Moroccans smoke it. And what they do is they take the tops of the female plant and they clean it real well, take all the seeds and hard pieces out. <laughs> and then they chop it up real fine and they mix it with a little bit of tobacco they take you know the raw tobacco leaf and they chop up a little bit to mm. make it give the taste better it's more for the taste mm. and they smoke it in these long pipes with the nerve bowl at the end and you drink a glass of mint tea with it and you smoke a pipe and you mm. talk it's, fine. it's completely different from all the other drugs in, in, in as far as it's not poisonous mm. um, uh, most most drugs like alcohol and heroin and all that other stuff, uh, they're all they're all poisons. I mean, they're in smaller or bigger quantity mm -hmm. are definitely lethal. And the difference with marijuana, it's it doesn't cause any reaction in your body. It's not mm. toxic, so you don't produce any antitoxins. Therefore, there is there is no no addiction, mm -hmm. no physical addiction, and it's not damaging. Mm -hmm. I mean. Uh, I've never experienced any damaging effects of it. These days, I do get the impression that the typical Dutch mom and pop is relatively tolerant towards uh, marijuana, most of them anyway. Yes, uh, through the years, you know, they see that, that there's no, no really bad things happening with it and, uh, and they don't make any problems with it. The thing is that, that most people most average kind of people, they don't really know what it is about. They mm -hmm. have not any real information. The only thing they he hear in the media is this generalization of drugs. Mm -hmm. And drugs has a very negative meaning, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's alcohol and drugs. Well, th this is ridiculous. I mean, alcohol is just as much a drug as, as all the other mind-altering substances, mm -hmm. you know. And if you talk about drugs, then you talk about everything. But if you talk about marijuana, you talk about marijuana. So you don't say drugs, you say marijuana. Okay. I think that the, the, the nice effect of marijuana is that it's a peaceful drug compared to all the aggressive drugs like alcohol and amphetamines, cocaine and so on. There is in all layers of society you will find people who smoke and they're all, you know, doing a perfect good job of, of their work and they have families and, and kids and they smoke, still smoke. They pay their taxes. And they pay their taxes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, can you think of any reason why any country should imprison people for the use of uh, marijuana or hashish? No, I think this is absolutely criminal.
they used to, uh, you know, to execute people for drinking coffee or something like that. You know, and, and this is just... As well, when I started smoking joints, mm -hmm. uh, my mother asked me, uh, well, what is it anyway? And, um, yeah. you know, they say it's told that it's dangerous. Yeah. But then I told her, well, marijuana is a soft drug and it's not dangerous, it's not more dangerous than, than, than drinking alcohol, which is a hard yeah. drug. So you knew the danger? I knew the danger, yeah. Um, it's using a drug <coughs> is dangerous, like using any drug, like coffee, tea, or, or alcohol, or... Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Yeah. Do you guys think that you're a threat to society? <laughs> <laughs> if, I, uh, if I'm stoned and very relaxed, I'm no very nice person. I'm not dangerous. Natasha, did your par do your parents know that you smoke marijuana? Yes. What do they think? Uh, well, my mother was a little bit shocked when uh, she found out, but uh, she knows that I go to school, I do all my other things. And, uh, you don't have any problems with it, you don't think? No. Uh, so she's happy. Like I say, you make it a problem if you want to. And mm -hmm. if you don't want to, you just do your daily things, live your normal life, and, and use it as a relaxation. What were the circumstances, Natasha, in, in your first use of it? Well, my uh, brother and I uh, went jogging, and uh, he was just back from Spain. Mm -hmm. And we have a half sister in Norway, and she died yeah. from heroin. Oh, so we were quite against everything, smoking, alcohol, yeah. everything yeah. was uh, wrong. Right. And then he told me that uh, he had been smoking hashish for two weeks in Spain. So I was a little bit shocked. Uh -huh. And then he said, uh, yeah, we m well, we must do it once. So I said, okay, and uh, I said, when? <laughs> and then he said, now. <laughs> and so we went to the, the bunkers over there. Yeah. Now, I was, I was afraid of the police because I thought uh, it isn't allowed and uh, it was drugs. And so even way down here, south of Rotterdam, in what is generally considered, it's considered a rural area, like out in the boonies, mm -hmm. out in the sticks, the police are also quite liberal here? Yes. I go to school, I live my life, uh, I eat normally, uh, I have my exercise, I study, uh, and uh, so the other one drinks a glass of wine and we take our joint. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, alcohol is even uh, worse than uh, marijuana. So Elsa, you also sometimes grow your own marijuana here at the house, don't you? Yeah, for three years now. Do you have fun growing it? Yeah, it's very nice. Every year it goes better. So. When was this picture taken? Oh, uh, I think three years ago. It's from my first plant. That's your first plant? Yeah. This is last summer? Yeah. And that's you in the picture? Yeah, we went on vacation and uh, my mother uh, had changed the garden and so there were no plants in it. and. Uh, so you had a lot of space to yeah, grow? Yeah, I put yeah. all my plants. Oh. And then uh, when I uh, came back, they were very big. And uh, concern for, for drug abuse leads to what I call a very positive, constructive social action, not towards repression. Because I think Neither of you are drug users, correct? Yes. No, no, no. Um, what is your opinion of the Dutch government's tolerant attitude towards soft drugs and soft drug users? I, I, well, I think it's it's a good way of trying to to uh, prevent hard drug use. Uh -huh. Actually, uh -huh. well, uh, I would think it's a very good idea, given that it's something which you can actually see to work. In that, uh, obviously, the fact that people uh, soft drugs are made are available, mm -hmm. people don't feel pressurized in any way about choosing them, and yeah. you don't see problems in their use. It's uh -huh. just something that people use when, if they want to and don't interfere with anyone else and it doesn't cause problems here, particularly here in the city, you can notice it otherwise. When the government says don't use drugs because mm -hmm. it's uh, evil, right? you know, and, and it's forbidden, right. you, you, you want to have drugs, you right. want to try it. They put their intention on hard drugs, Yeah, their not, intention. On, soft, yeah. Uh, not on soft drugs, and soft drugs is uh, really uh, not as bad mm -hmm. as uh, hard drugs, so I 
I accept the fact that they put their intention on hard drugs, not mm -hmm. in fact on soft drugs.